this is Travis from Tipo's Corner. We're playing the Mirror Mirror event for the weekend. I've got a deck. I haven't exactly created a name for it yet. Um, I cribbed it from my Historic Time Loop deck, and I just added in two of the cards that are on the uh, band list normally. It's Agent of Treachery and Nexus of Fate. So, let's see. Let's just pop them up here. There we go. So when he enters from the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, you gain control of target permanent. At the beginning of the end step, if you control three or more permanents you don't own, draw three cards. I don't think anybody ever waits until you control three or more permanents. It seems like people scoop as soon as you play this for the first time. But regardless, um, in the old days, this was uh, like a dredge deck or reanimator type tactic. They would cast it from exile or cast it from the graveyard. So what wizards did is for the the rebalancing for this mirror event they made sure that you can only cast it from your hand um, otherwise it's not supposed to work which I'm gonna test that because I've got a question on uh, flicker flicker cards and the other one is Nexus of Fate and I'm only gonna put three cards of that in here oops it would help if I got rid of the treachery okay Nexus of Fate there was, there was some text in the original card. Oh, here it is. Take an extra turn. If it would be put into the graveyard from anywhere, reveal it, shuffle it into its owner's library instead. They got rid of that extra stuff so that you just get to use it and exile it. It's really close to Karn's Temporal Sundering, which is what I used for the historical time loop. Uh, but basically what I did is I put seven really expensive cards into an already existing deck. And we're going we're gonna to take it out for a spin. Okay, I've already got one of the cards. Really, all that we need to do is survive until we get enough mana to keep things going. That's why we have Birth of Miletus, just to help us ramp up. Just because we get the ramp for the land and it gives us a 0-4 wall, so we're just stalling for time. I kind of need to wait for him to be tapped out before I can put Kaya down. Use frostbite on a wall. Not enough. Okay, let's do a search. What else can we get? Let's see. We're not ready for some of the other stuff. How about Teferi? No. We don't have any blue mana yet. Let's try for Urza's. We need to have a legendary creature or planeswalker out though. So it's gonna be tricky.
But that's what the walls are for. Is he going to sacrifice to take out a wall? Glad to finally see some blue mana. And Time now we focus. could we could exile something, do. but I want to build her up because we want to use Urza's Runa's blast, so we want her to stay around. An improbable allowance will be one of the casualties. Which does remove a nice headache. nice to, to see that they recognize Naya for the threat that she is. Congratulations, you finally managed to kill a wall. Huh. You won't get away so easily. Although, the walls would have been exiled anyway. You do realize that, don't you? Perfect. Let's see. You are legendary, so you have to be exiled. In a different manner. I'm not gonna let you kill me in one turn. How hard could it be? Get out. Try again. Hmm. Let's see, that's the spark double, right? We don't care about losing the spark double. When I say go. Go. What we care about is getting Naya up so we can use her emblem. Hmm. We can just use that now. Hopefully that works on me and not you. It does. Okay, so that doesn't mean that you take all the time possible in the entire planet.
Or I guess you can. I can't stop you. Say hi, bear. Feed the bear. Alright, what do we want to do next? Human rogue. We'll take you. And let's see. Returns to its owner's hand. So we want to go from only agent of treachery. You'll be fine. Then Trust we get me. another turn. And I don't want to do that yet. I want to put down a creature. Then get it. It goes from counter. Then we will attack. Weird, right? And in the meantime, I have enough that I can go search for something else. And what do we want to get? Trickster? We could. How about an Elspeth Conqueror's Death? Just for grins and giggles. Ooh, nice. What'd you exile? Volcanic Salvo? So you got six counters, makes it an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's a nice card. Okay. You do realize I just got Elspeth Contra's death, right? I mean, you did see that, right? You made me use up all my mana. You'll be fine. Trust me. So, with these cards, if they work, if I get them out... I mean, Agent of Treachery really changes things. I don't even need to use my time loop. Are you gonna get rid of Naya? Well, I guess I got in over my head. I don't really need her anymore. I don't even need to set up the time loop. Because I get to take an extra turn after this one. Mm, yeah, let's attack with everybody. You lose your creature, I get my back plus two tokens because he had two on him. Let's see, spark double. Yeah, we'll take him. Submit zero. Who do I want to copy? That's a good question. Mm, kinetic auger, I guess? Plus one! Ooh, I can discard cards too? Draw stuff? Nah, I don't care about that. I don't care about this stuff. Yeah. I won't Look stand at that. by as innocent people. Uh, we don't need a ghost from counter on those. We just get a couple on that one. So we get don't more, worry. more of those guys if we you. need them. Good game. We got to use full Agent of Treachery and Nexus of Fate. I like them. I think Strixhaven has a card that you spend three blue mana and one colorless to take uh, an opponent's permanent or opponent's creature. I think there's a limit on the mana value of the creature, though. Agent of Treachery, you have to pay a little bit more mana. Um, I think the rebalancing is good because most of the times I saw Agent of Treachery, it was being cast from Exile or the Graveyard. So restricting it in that way does limit it from some of the other decks that I've seen. Alright, we'll start with the land that doesn't change. Then the tap land. Ok, 
Okay, what next? Let's go ahead and put out Black Lana. Introduce our first threat. Not a big one, but if they're not going to remove it, it'll help them give us some lasting power. This deck is all about bringing out the land. Whatever you're going to do, it's going to be awesome, isn't it? Let's see, I need to wait for the Planeswalkers to show up for that one. You don't have any counter spells, right? So. Do we get Teferi or do we get... Do we get Elspeth Conquers Death? Let's get Elspeth. We'll have enough mana to cast it next turn. And maybe we make them stall on putting out anything good. Or maybe they just put out something I good. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Harness the elements. All right. Exile it is. I am in need of rest. Hmm. Let's see, I've got Death Touch and Life Link. I don't care if they attack me, right? That's yeah. Can't be countered and protection from blue. Reach, trample, or haste. Ouch. Come on, let me have my turn. Come on. You can do it. Thank you. All right, we'll get rid of you. Hello. I guess I have to keep him on defense. So what do we get next? How about... Teferi. No attacks, I'm gonna need at least something to defend my planeswalkers real soon. That's disgusting. I don't have enough mana yet for that. So. You're just gonna have to leave me alone. Get out. And when all else fails, ramp and ramp again. Okay, what is that? Nine lands he's got? Ten? You can do pretty much anything you want from me now, can't you? Alright. Let's build Kai up. Get the Ghost Form counter You'll be going. Fine. We'll get Trust Teferi me. down here. It we takes impressive knowledge to be a temporal archmage. Think fast! Actually, we need the land, so we're going to get rid of Nexus of Fate. As crazy as it seems to get rid of a card that powerful. If we do things right, Naya can bring it back later. Top seven cards. Ooh, gross. OK, 
Okay, which one do I want to block? Back off. Okay, next. Agent of Treachery. And three, five five goes to a one one. Oh, you're not gonna let me do anything else? Okay, so maybe is Agent of Treachery still too overpowered? There are other blue cards that take control of other creatures and planeswalkers. Um, but yeah, just one use of Agent of Treachery and it can shift the entire avenue of the game where you thought you were had a winning position and now you're definitely uh, at a disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, looking at that, I think that's a good addition to the deck. I'm, I'm still not sure if maybe a really fast like red aggro deck can can take me out because I added in eight cards that are all seven mana and I'm not sure what that really does to my mana curve but you know it's not good right nevertheless we'll go look at the the layout of it real quick I imported that so fast I didn't give it a name yet. We're going to call it Agent Nexus Mirror or Mirror Nexus. Okay. So we've got only 14 creatures, only 21 lands total, which is kind of cheap on the lands. And you can see how much the 5 and 6 tapping cards are. That's very unusual for me. I, I usually tend to have just a couple of five or six mana cards and that's it. It's an expensive deck to play, 4.1 average, and with less than the average number of cards for lands. And uh, and I just tip the balance even worse with that. Oh, I only have three of Nexus of Fate. Oh, that's fine. How many? Because I still have, um, you know, Time Wipe in there, um, and four Spark Devils. I have four of Karn's Temporal Sundering. So we don't need to overload it. But, yeah, I mean, I basically count on Birth of Miletus to counter the fact that I don't have all of the lands. You can see I don't even have a, a Fabled in there, Fabled Passage, and maybe I should, ideally. But it didn't hurt us on the first two runs of that. So it's fun to play. I like that card a lot. I like that card. It's how much different is it really from from Karn's Temporal Sundering? It's six for his. Um, you can do a little bit more with Karn, just slightly, because there's one more thing you can do. You can return up to one target permanent to the owner's hand. So you could get rid of uh, a token that's uh, about to kill you, or if somebody's put a negative enchantment on one of yours, you can save it. Say, or they've just put a pacify on it. So it's uh, Karn is actually still a better card, but it is a, a legendary sorcery as opposed to an instant. So maybe the legendary aspect they think it's okay that you can do more with with Karns, whereas Nexus the the instant ability probably is what they decided partly makes it more uh, powerful. Uh, they didn't make you pay one more for it, but yeah, they made you at least exile it now. So it's a little bit more like Karns Temporal Sundering than it was before. And Agent of Treachery is just cool. At the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more permanents you don't own, draw three cards. Has anybody ever gotten to that point? Uh, or after the first time Agent of Treachery is used? Um, <laughs> uh, you know what I want to do is experiment with something, is use a Flicker of Fate on that and see if, uh, if it still reactivates because it's got that specific uh, wording now uh, if you cast it from your hand so technically this card shouldn't work on it right exile target creature enchantment then return it to the battlefield under its opponent's control um, because that's that's exiling it, exiling it and bringing it back but does flicker of fate reset things enough so that the the magic engine thinks that you cast it from your hand or not so I may run an experiment with that but that's uh, that's shown you a couple more banned cards that have been rebalanced with the Mirror Mirror event. And I uh, hope you're having as much fun as I'm having fun playing it. This is Travis from T-Post Corner. 
please remember to like and subscribe and help the channel grow. And in the meantime, have a good one. Okay, not the greatest beginning, but not the worst, I guess. Although I'm not sure we're fast enough to beat an elf deck. We'll get some defense down to start with. Yeah, that's pretty fast stuff. I don't think he's wanna, gonna want to give that up, so we'll take our life and take our damage while we can. Do you have enough of those? I came prepared for planeswalkers. Okay, let's see. Do I put the blue down now? Yeah, let's put the blue down now. What can we go get? We need... Unfortunately, we need more mana. Every once in a while this happens, it takes us a while to get going. Okay, we've got odd, they've got odd, they've got all odd. Uh, do we want to duplicate anything? Not at the moment. There's an even. And another even. I do like that card. Okay, we've got six. We need seven to make it work. So... We're still not doing anything. This has to be one that I control. I'm not getting the land I wanted. What is he going to do? He's just going to keep putting down all these creatures? He is. He's just going to keep putting down all these creatures. Three, four, six, seven. Okay. This time he's gonna mutate, right? Or what is, yeah. What is that? Primeval Bounty? He didn't put it down. You little puke. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a beast. Okay. Creature or Planeswalker? Creature or Planeswalker? Nope. What are you waiting for? Okay, fine. I gained two life. Hmm. What else do I want to do? Oh, why is it going to combat? No attacks. Alright. 
Let's just clear the board. That's nice. So we have two of those now. Not sure I like that. Okay, I need to have a legendary creature or planeswalker out for that. That's why that wasn't working. Okay, we're gonna take the guy you just pumped up. Hope you don't mind. And you're gonna do nothing. Okay. How about a spark double? Yeah, don't quite get everything. Okay, you got all four of a kind. Well, you don't have all four of a kind. Because I have one of them now. Ooh, I know what we could do. We could trade. Oh, this could be fun. Give me that. Now what are you going to do? You're going to gain a lot of life? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, exchange control of two creatures. So I'm going to give you my guy and I'm going to take your guy. at the beginning of the end step. I draw three cards. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, I'm not going to need that, right? Um, I'm not going to need that. And I don't think I need the land. Basic. Doesn't matter. Maybe I need an enchantment in here. Kaya! If you want a job done right, hire. Ghost form on my agent of treachery, please. Here, let me help. Extra player, return up to one. Do I want to return anybody? Yes, I do. Let's see, target player. I'm gonna return this guy. No need to attack. Oh man, I need to do something about that. Um, I guess we throw away Search for Glory? I have too many cards. Target player loses three life. I gain three life. Okay, what can I do here? I don't want to destroy all creatures. I was thinking I would bring this guy down. Take another one of your creatures. Uh, pump up my something or other. There. Ghost counter. Ghosting feels weird, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is all starting to feel weird. And then spark double. And let's choose a spark double of Kaya. 
And let's get rid of one of these. Should be a nice break from Ravnica. When I say go, we don't need go. to attack. Am I gonna run through my deck? I think I might. How many do I need to? One, two, three, four, um, five. Scoot Swarm! Hello, Scoot Swarm. At last! Oh, yes. Thank you. I was gonna mill myself to death. I finally decided to do something. Big turn with a lot of creatures. I even lost track of all the math. That's enough to kill me, isn't it? Just three, right? Are you going to attack with anyone? Okay. Here we go. Ghost form on you. You'll be Ghost fine. form on you. Trust me. Ghost is weird, I know. Return a creature I control to its owner's hand. Agent of treachery. Destroy all creatures. Put you down. What else can I put down? Did I run out of swamps already? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. What is that? Yeah, we can do that. Let's get rid of you. And I have to discard two cards. Oh, man. We'll get rid of uh, legendary and legendary. You know why? Because we're going to get him back. Oh, you poor, sad, deluded fool. That guy's mine. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. Okay. One for you. You'll be fine. One for you. Trust me. Here. That's all we need to do. You got 37 life, you gonna quit? <laughs> Another Lotus Cobra. You are so adorable. Return. Spark Double. Uh, copy. What are we gonna copy? Agent of Treachery. Plus one. Aha. Uh -huh. So, since I made a copy and I didn't cast it from my hand, it doesn't activate. Okay. I'm okay with that. You know why? I got another one. I'm going to take him. I hope you don't mind. Okay, this emblem. This yeah. ghost form. Well, and I got a lot of other stuff I could do, spirit. but all I really want to do is... Can I do this yet? Let's see. I got the emblem at the beginning of my upkeep. Okay, so I got to wait. Oh, hello there. Ah, oh, I didn't get to use any of my other cards. All right, however, Agent of Treachery worked like a charm. And these cards worked okay, too. I was just finally getting ready to get set up for the loop. 
And I gotta admit, I was toying around with them a little. Uh, this make, deck makes it too easy. Um, is Agent of Treachery still overpowered? That's a good question. Let's discuss that in the wrap-up later. Opponent goes first. That means they're going to win, right? Okay. Don't have a turn one play, so playing the tap land is the right way to go. Swamp. Okay, so I can destroy a planeswalker if I'm dealing with planeswalkers. Which green now does have a couple that they can put down really fast, right? That's very common in these environments to see. Uh, let's see. What else? There's another one. Five. We can get a Kaya out soon, right? Let's go get Kaya. They know they've got a couple turns. Before they have to worry about anything. But at least they're not doing that on Scoot Swarm already. Okay, let's see. We've got two. We've got two black. I'm gonna be in control of that, right? Creature or planeswalker I control. So we're done. Treachery costs more. Oh, wasn't they just talking about that? Okay. This may work out. Let's see. We've got... We'll go ahead and make that a place. Then comes one card in. We'll get rid There's of no you. Job too tough for me. Get... Private Bounty. Primeval Bounty. Am I playing the same person I beat in the earlier round? I'm just gonna fade out. Just gotta hunt one more monster. How hard could it be? When I say go, you go. I was gonna say, unless you have haste, I'll be okay, but you do have haste. Whatever, I'll bounce Exactly, back. the one card that could take me out. Okay, so we got six. What kind of colors do we need? We'll take the last swamp. Okay, I can't use those until I get Legendary out. And that's Planeswalker only, right? So I'm stuck. I need one more land. Okay. Too fast, too fast, too fast.
two lands again. I keep expecting planeswalkers. So far these are just burning a hole in my pocket. But watch, if I take them out, suddenly I'll come up against nothing but planeswalkers. Use the solid concrete choices first that are fixed. Next, use the ones that give you a choice. Let's see, I can get to ferry down. Do I really need to go get another land? Can I afford to wait? Uh, let's go let's go do it. I need to use the search for glory that way. But I really can't be caught short on land. So do what you gotta do. Okay. Let's see. We'll do the blue. We will get rid of you in a minute first. I'm gonna go use this since I went to go get, get it. Okay, then that's a sorcery, so I've gotta use it now. disgusting. My walls can't help that, so... Time to focus. I got a job to do. If I have to lose an entire Kaya to that, I will. Uh, another creature with flying. Okay, wait. You got lifeline. Okay, what can I do against you? Well, I can take a turn after this one. And I can put you back up. Counters can't put him on non-tokens, so we'll just pump her up and let it go at that. Okay, take another turn after this one. It's good to be me. Wonderful me. Who needs all runs epiphany? Oh, look what I can do. Oh, I don't have to... I, all this time and I never got the second black mana. I was not paying attention. Okay. If nothing else, I will protect ideas like seconds of okay. meeting. You're going away. You're going pumped up. What do we want to look for next? Another guy? How about... A ruinous blast. Oh yeah. Let's let them see what we got. You want to put something down there with that? You do? You're so cute. You're so cute thinking you're going to stay alive. Oh, the same enchantment? You, you, got, you got just one kind of thing you want to do, huh? Technically, I should have use this during their turn too. Think fast. Think fast. Okay, we put you down. We give you a ghost form token. Ghost we kill weird, right? everything that isn't legendary. I get my vampire back because of the ghost form. And we get a 1-1 one -one chump locker. It's good to be me. Wonderful me. This deck really is great uh, to play around with unless you're up against like really, really fast decks that'll kill you on turn four or unless they never give you the land that you want. You've got one too? What a coincidence. If I don't have a plan, I'll just make one up. I do love a good puzzle. I'll race ya. You reminded me I should be doing this. Think fast. Um, what do we want to get rid of? We'll get... Oh no, I don't want to get rid of that one. I don't want to get rid of any of these really, but... Okay, so we'll put this down.
Mm hmm I do love a good puzzle. I really should have kept that land so I could have played this Elder Spell finally. Okay, so we will do a spark double duplicate of Kaya. Death just to get rid of you. Mm. I'll just it's come back least. yesterday. Give you the ghost form token again. Ghosting and feels weird. Draw a card. Don't worry, I'll think of something. Eh. Should we bother attacking? I guess. I was so used to the a lot of the black and white stuff. I forgot they could do blue for a second. There we go. I just wanted to get that. I do love a good puzzle. Time wipe. We'll get rid of you. Okay. So you go here. You You'll be fine. Go here. Trust me. Well, you're not lacking for spirit. Now if I have to time wipe and destroy the vampire of the dark moon. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I get all these extra white spirit creature tokens. I do, it works even under exile. That is so cool. Okay, so I put them out. I don't need to do a time wipe. Pass. Another Kaya. Ideas like seconds are fleeting. We don't need another Kaya. Don't worry. I got you. Ghosting feels weird, right? Next, we get to take one of these. Okay, pass. Turn. Aha! Uh -huh. I have something I don't mind throwing away now. Don't worry, I'll think of something. Okay, you get pumped up. You don't give me worry. an emblem. I got you. Pass. I could get used to working with others. Put something down. Come on. Come on, anything. I could trade with you. I could destroy us all. I can get rid of planeswalkers now. Hmm. That gives me more tokens. You know that, right? That's just more damage. That was not helpful to you. I mean, I know you're supposed to do something, but doing something that actively hurts you? Uh, let's see. At the beginning, you can cast a legendary spell from your hand or from exile. Let's go do this. Exile. We don't need to bring anything back. Bum, 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 bum. Ideas like seconds are clear. Here, let me help. You'll be fine. Trust me. And It's my turn again? Exile. Legendary sorcery. Target the player. Return you to my hand? I return to my hand. I do not get that kind of stuff. Take two turns after this one. Let's slow this down. I'm running out of cards I can play. Ghosting feels weird, right? Yes, it does. You'll be fine. Trust me. At the beginning of my upkeep. Decline. I don't need to do that kind of stuff. 
Don't worry, I got you. Don't worry, I got you. Time to improvise. Let's take another turn. Woohoo! Is there any getting off this roller coaster? Decline. Um. Here, let me help. You'll be fine. Trust me. There we go. I was wondering how long you were going to hang around. I mean, I could just do that forever. What fun. No agent of treachery needed that time. Okay, in honor of Agent of Treachery and Nexus of Fate, I have named this deck Agent of Fate, and it worked pretty well. We just have to wait for the server. And wait for the server. My goodness, what is going on tonight? Okay, so we ended up, we stocked three more fabled passages in there, and I added one extra island so we wouldn't have a problem with land, because we were putting seven really powerful cards in there. You can see it's still a, kind of a, getting it to be an expensive deck. But, um, I don't really have any complaints. I mean, the, with, with the way that this is set up, Kai is the one who uses her emblem that we can cast a legendary spell from exile. Carl's, Karn's Temporal Sundering is better for the deck because it's a legendary sorcery. Nexus of Fate is not. However, just having Nexus of Fate in there uh, works just fine. Um, I don't think it's any more overpowered than Karn's Temporal Sundering. Uh, it is one mana more expensive, but you can do more with Karn's, and probably that's because it's legendary. Um, so is this overpowered? No, I don't think so. Was it overpowered before with the way you could reshuffle it? Maybe. But, you know, with Kaya's combination, we figured out how to reshuffle this one anyway. Um, so, I'm not sure. I don't really have a problem with that one. Agent of Treachery, is that one overpowered? There are a number of blue cards where you can take control of something or other. You can take control of artifacts, you can take control of creatures. Um, this one's anything. This one's target permanent, so... It's a little more general, you might say, um, but it is expensive. Um, I think it would work. I think it's okay. I don't. It's. I mean, it's. It is very powerful card, but it's a seven mana card. You expect those cards to be powerful. Is it really more powerful than anything else? Not really. I mean, you look at the 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 power and toughness. It's only a two three human rogue, uh, so that's not too bad. I think we're good. I think uh, I think wizards could, if they wanted to, go ahead and take these with their rebalancing, with the way they've reworded them here, and put them back into the regular game. And uh, so, let me know in the comments if you like that. Um, if you like that idea, if you if you think you would like to play, even though the cards have been nerfed from their original form, uh, we probably wouldn't ever see these printed in a physical card game. This is something that wizards is only going to be doing because it's easier to do in the digital realm. Um, but with that being the case, would you guys want to play with these cards along with everything else in, say, like, historical? Let me know. In the meantime, this is Travis from T-Bow's Corner signing off and reminding you to tune in next time because there's always a new deck right around the corner.